I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has a productivity tool feature in the sidebar and the side panel that lets you access a world clock, a calculator, unit converter, translator, dictionary, and yeah, you've got some other tools. Now, about a year or so ago, I posted a video that in Edge Stable and also in Edge Canary, which is a preview version, Microsoft had deprecated and removed the internet speed test tool as a productivity tool from the sidebar. And as I mentioned in that video, that it was back then hard to say if this was a permanent change. Now that was over a year ago. And just to let you know now, if we head over to Edge Canary 124, which is the latest preview version, I noticed today when I opened up Edge Canary, that for the productivity tools, the internet speed test is back as a new f uh, feature. So they've added now a sixth productivity tool. And if we click on that and we start, it's not native to the side panel. It opens up in the main body on a web page, which takes you over to the speed test by Ookla, which is a well-known um, online speed test you can get. Um, you can get the app on your phone. You can use it online as well. Now, one thing I have noticed though regarding this is it's not very accurate. Um, this is not a true reflection of my internet speed download and upload. So it looks like Microsoft still has a little bit of work to do regarding this, but nonetheless, um, not a true reflection of the actual speed at this stage. And as we can see, it's not native to the side panel like your calculator or your um, unit converter, which open up in the side panel and can be used in the side panel. Uh, the new internet speed test is like your other tools, like your timer, which also open up in a web page and on a website in the main body of the browser. So it seems now that um, once again, Microsoft has had another change of heart and that the internet speed test now is on its way back to the Edge browser for desktop. And obviously, if this does make its way down to stable, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop if this feature does make its way into the stable channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.